But what I wanted to first do is actually create a new site from scratch so we can see what this might look like for a new user or a new team. So I'm going to create a new organization. Let's go ahead and call this webinar team. You can choose what you're using this for. Uh, we have a lot of teams that are using Gitbook for things like internal knowledge bases or internal docs, uh, protected doc sites if you are working on a little bit more sensitive information. But we're going to focus just on the published side of things today. I'm just going to check this off for now. And we'll create the new site. Uh, or the new team, excuse me. Now, when you create a new uh, organization or a new team in Gitbook, you'll be prompted to create your first site. Um, this is, I'm just going to go ahead and create again just a, a test one. Let's do webinar test site. It'll get us, uh, give us an option for the type of content that we want. We can either do sample content or we can do no content and just kind of start from blank. Or if you want to import or use things like Git Sync, which we'll show in just uh, in just a minute. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and take us through what the new sample content looks like as well. And we'll publish this later. You can also publish this right away uh, if you want. But let's go ahead and create the site. And as we're brought into the new view for, um, for Gitbook, as you've created your first site, um, I'll, I'll take us through and show, give a lay of the lens. So we know where everything is. Um, previously, if you've been using Gitbook, you might have seen things like spaces. This is where you're going to create uh, all of the content, whether it's something for a doc site or whether it's something for an internal uh, knowledge base. Um, but we have this new section here called Doc Sites, and this is specific for the things that you're publishing to the web. Again, the majority of the things that you're probably making with Gitbook, but you can even think of the own, our own stuff that we do, things like docs.gitbook.com or developer docs developer. Uh, .gitbook.com. You'll find all of those different things within this Doc Sites section here. You can add as many doc sites as you want uh, from this little section here. But again, because we just went through that initial flow, you'll find uh, you'll find the one that we just made right here. And this is the main overview page for the doc sites that you have. We have a new insights section for this specific site, which you'll start to get insights after it's published. So you'll see the things like page ratings, page views, and search analytics after you go ahead and publish this and maybe enable the different parts uh, here. Some of these are pro plan uh, as well. So just keep that in mind. But as you explore the different insights, um, you can uh, explore to see which parts are paid and not. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, from the main doc sites uh, overview page as well what you're able to do is add things like integrations you're able to customize the site a little bit further see what permissions you and your team have for this per uh, particular site and edit any settings that are specific to this site as well you can also do things like add a custom domain from here you can edit the content directly and you can also publish it to the web in a number of different ways as we were talking about earlier uh, we have like protected sites we have unlisted sites etc now one of the relationships and things that I want to show that's changed from before between the doc sites and the content um, is, is how it's laid out here. So you'll see that we have the doc sites uh, and the webinar test site um, uh, site that's published here. But we also have a link that says webinar test site down to the space that's here. So if I click this, you'll see it opens up the space. And if we want to be a little bit more clear about this, we can also rename this. We can maybe say <clears throat> content. And that should update uh, this across the, the site as well. So we know a little bit more clear that the top level is the site itself that we're going to publish. And the part below is going to be the content itself that we, uh, we're publishing. 